Squad, it's about that time of the week where you get to tune into your favorite tech show to find out what's happening in the world of science and technology. And today, we're taking it to an all new cryptic language. Sounds interesting. Do you mean like a secret spy code? No, silly, I'm talking about the language of the digital age, the building blocks of the digital world, the very input that makes you, well, you. I'm talking about coding. Okay, so are we talking about another hack system upgrade? <laughs> whoa, 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 I think you're getting ahead of yourself. How about we have a look at today's lineup? First up, Amir and the squad head to the We Code Academy. Then we bring you a mind bending brain teaser. We meet Tibella Matlali. And we head over to the Tech Lab. You know, Hack, I can see how coding can seem intimidating to lots of our squad members who are watching. Especially if they've never heard of it before, or if they never tried it. But the world is changing, and more and more people are starting to realize the importance of coding as a skill, like the guys over at We Code Academy. We sent the squad to check it out. Hey squad, it's me, Amir, and today I'm here at the We Code Academy to figure out exactly what they do here. Let's go. Hello guys. Hi, Welcome. Hello. The squad was invited to a special We Code Academy workshop to learn all about the basics of robotics and coding. Pretty much what We Code Academy does is we focus on teaching young individuals skill sets relying on technology, specifically in coding and robotics. Well, if you take it, coding and digital literacy is arguably one of the most important skill sets for young people that they need to acquire today, specifically for a career set that they're gonna go and embark on. So We Code focuses on developing these skills through coding, as well as developing their competencies in science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, other known as STEAM. Today, uh, we're going to do introduction to Matty the robot and Scratch. So Matty is our robot. We're going to be using our computers to program Matty. So we're going to explore different moves from Matty. It's not only the arms that move, right? The legs and the eyes. But we're going to go through all of that just now. In today's session, we are super excited. We're going to actually introduce a lot of the learners today to what is Marty Robotics, as well as Scratch Coding. And we are having amazing facilitators who's going to facilitate this, Jabu and Tia. Um, they were actually students as part of We Code Academy. And they are now in the process where they are actually going out and facilitating We Code at schools for individual clients. And this is something you're going to meet today. All right, so who can tell me what is a robot? I think a, a robot is a moving machine. A robot is a machine that functions off of AI. I think a robot is a machine that is used to do certain stuff. Okay, so all our answers are correct, right? A robot in a machine is a machine that can carry out a number of tasks automatically. Hello, my name is Jabulani. I'm from Soweto. So at WeCode, we've got a variety of offerings, like uh, we've got e-learning labs, a virtual reality, augmented reality, and drones plus robotic uh, lessons, which they all form part of uh, the digital world that we are in right now. So it uses Using hands-on learning and exposure so to actual technology, children learn while creating, building, and having fun. Robot. And then there's a motor on the knees here, and then this one is for turning, and this one, and then these ones are for the arms. So at We Code Robot Lab, our focus mainly is uh, the PCs that we use and the coding uh, that we teach. So mostly it's the computer literacy that comes first because we need to know if the kids, they're able to use a computer, 
So from being able to use a computer, it takes okay, you so to another level that like shows us that you can actually start uh, learning code because you now know the, the main uh, right. resource that you're going to use, which right is a laptop or a computer. So, so now mostly it's coding and laptops that we mostly teach. Guys, you know me and you know that I'm always up for a challenge. So I cannot wait to start coding. But right now, let's head back to the studio. Guys, I know I said coding might look intimidating, but those little blue robots did not look intimidating at all. The squad looked like they really enjoyed themselves. It just makes the whole experience so interactive. Now guys, today's guest is just nine years old, but she's leaving everyone stunned by her coding skills. It all started when she was eight, and this girl is not stopping. Welcome to Bella Matlali. We're so excited to have you with us today. Who'd like to ask the first question? Hi Tabelo, um, would you like to tell us about yourself, like how old you are and your name and what you like to do for fun? Um, well, hello, my name is Tabelo Masadi and uh, I am 11 years old in like grade 6 I guess. Uh, the things uh, that I like to do is uh, kind of just like, I don't know, I kind of like uh, playing games, listening to music and drawing and stuff like that. Who would like to go up next? What is coding? Um, uh, coding, uh, which is uh, also known as uh, computer programming, is uh, basically just uh, where you kind of just like uh, do some stuff on your computer to perform uh, a task uh, or like uh, show some computer results and stuff like that, specifically. Let's have one more question. So Tibilo, why did you start coding? Um, uh, I started coding uh, because uh, my mom uh, practically like uh, works at Africa Teen Geeks, so I just uh, so I was kind of like exposed to it um, a lot uh, from a younger age than what I am, I guess. So I guess I just kind of decided to try it for myself uh, and uh, started liking it a bit and stuff like that. Tibelo is a tech fireball. Watch the space. Guys, we'll catch up with the conversation later because right now it's time for this week's brain teaser. Today's brain teaser is a bit of a mathematical code, but if you listen and think carefully, we know that you can crack it. Here's your clue. In the mathematical code given, if seven equals 70, and 6 equals 54, if 5 equals 40, and 4 equals 28. Can you figure out the pattern to work out what the number 2 equals? If you think you have the right answer, then send it to our WhatsApp line, or you can enter on our Instagram at TechnoSquad is 3. Remember, only the first correct answer will be accepted as the winner. And you can win an awesome data bundle, so get to entering! Welcome back Techno Squad. You're still hanging out with your favorite squad. Hack, do you know what computational thinking is? Shanice, how can you even ask me that? I do it all the time. It's basically thinking that involves taking a complex problem and breaking it down into a series of small, more manageable problems. And that's exactly what the squad found out when they got stuck into coding. We're going to ask you to pay extra special attention to what the squad get up to because we've got some exciting news. Let's take a look. So we've already heard all about the We Code Academy, but the only question on our mind is when do we code? Well, you can join me and the rest of the squad as we go visit the WeCode Robot Lab. Let's go! Alright, so before we added the extension that we are going to use, so these are the blocks. After all the theory and instructions, it was time to make Marty move by coding him. And then standing straight, wiggle. My name is Zahir, I am 9 years old and I am in grade 3. 
When I first walked in, I thought we were going to learn how to code and how to do it and how to make the robot move and do funny stuff. But now what I'm going to show you, we're going to add Mati the robot blocks. So the blocks can be used no, only when the Mati... Today's class was good <laughs> and we had to make the robot's arms move and the legs move and we had to make it like in sync, like we're walking and they're moving their arms like real people. I so I have to get uh, I took it ready to step forward. This is six times. Like twice the left. Like twice the left. So I went to uh, when it's like six blocks and I get ready and walk two step forward. And then it's six and then slide two times to the left. Then slide two times to the right and then lean back. When I first walked in, it was, it was cool because there was robots everywhere. The difficult stuff was about all the coding you have to do and about the robot. So you need to remember this. The children are taught the basics in scratch Marty, coding in order to get Marty going. This should be your first two blocks. Whenever you're programming Marty, we're trying to uh, teach them the robots and the programming language that we use for now, which is block-based. Uh, which is Scratch, and then so we start from beginner, which is a play, uh, block based, and then move to a text based, which is more Python and JavaScript in and C plus. So we start from a beginner and then take them up to a like uh, intermediate level and then to advanced level. So today's class was actually pretty easy. We did um, coding. There was different blocks that we um, had to put in to activate our robot. And um, I learned that um, coding isn't actually that hard. Anybody can do it. So today's class was super great. I loved it. And also I liked the fact that um, um, the robot could move in their real life. It was a I have to do a scratch and then you try it and then your your robot will um, move in different ways. So coding blocks they like they help the robot move and like if you put it together then it makes it the robot move but it has different words inside of it. So like like move left leg and it will move the left leg and move your right arm and to move the right arm. So there's a challenge that we're going to close off uh, the session today with. We're going to play soccer and then we're going to shoot penalties. Okay, so today you're going to shoot uh, penalties using a robot. Okay, so we're going to use this as our goal post. So the challenge was to have a robot and you could choose any distance, but you had to make the robot move. You had to code it to move and take have the ball to kick you have the robot to kick the ball in the goal. And the day ended with a tech goal kickoff. <laughs> Class day was really fun and I wouldn't say easy, but I wouldn't say hard either because it was a new experience. The kids, I think they well enjoyed the program and everything that we did today because I saw some of them, they were actually quite happy when they got to score the goal at the end of the lesson which was uh, more like a challenge that we did just to keep the entertainment and the vibe up for the kids. The best part was the penalties because I feel like I knew, I, was, I knew exactly how I was going to do it. And I think the worst part was I got a little bit confused when we had to do, move the arms as he walked. That, that was a bit difficult because my robot didn't move. We came, we saw, we coded. And hopefully we'll be coding into the future. Well, while we continue our coding adventures, why don't you guys head back to the studio? It's time for us to catch up with our young coder, Tibelo. Tibelo, the squad has some questions for you. Let's go squad, who'd like to go first? Could you show us some simple coding on Scratch? Okay. So currently we are on Scratch. So first we are just going to create a new project. 
As you can see, first off, we have uh, this uh, cat, in which uh, here we call, we're going to be calling a sprite. We are just uh, going to delete that real quick. First, uh, we are just uh, going to choose the backdrop. And I'm just going to scroll. I think I'm going to pick over here the savannah. We're going to pick over here maybe a giraffe. Okay, and just uh, drag it along a little bit, maybe here. So there you go, we got the back drop, we got the sprite. Now we're gonna get to the coding part. So over here with Scratch, coding is actually a bit less complicated since you're gonna be using blocks and stuff like that. Since we already have this, so pressing the green flag is going to start to whatever you're gonna, whatever project you're going to be making with all of the courses. So let's choose the repeat. You can actually adjust. You can actually adjust to how many times you want to repeat this. But for now, I'm just going to use the 10 seconds. So now we have uh, got all of those codes uh, and I'm just going to press the green flag. Um, and there you go. Tabelo, thank you so much. It's been great having you with us. And all you squad members at home, remember to head over to our YouTube channel to watch this video. Remember to add a comment and give us a like. Guys, I have to say the squad put in the work and like the true techno squad they are, they're coding naturals. Now earlier on, I told you that we had a surprise. Well, this week we'll be giving away an awesome teledrone and you could be the winner. Here's what you'll need to do to win this amazing prize. For the full details to win, you need to head over to our socials. It's giveaway time. All you have to do to win the awesome prize is follow at WeCode underscore and at TechnoSquad is three. Like both our posts of the giveaway and tag a friend below. But you also need to answer a question and send it to TechnoSquad's DMs. The question is, what is the name of the customized robot used in the WeCode Academy workshop? For a bonus entry, post this on your story and tag at WeCode underscore and at TechnoSquad is three. Remember, only one winner will be selected and no WhatsApp entries for the prize will be accepted. It's only happening on the socials. Welcome back to it. You are still chilling with your favorite squad and learning all about coding. Shanice, I've been searching my archive and did you know? Okay, here we go. By learning to write a code, you can tell computers or machines what to do or how to behave in a much faster way. You can use this skill to make websites and apps, process data, and do lots of other cool things. But even more than that, it also prepares kids to think in a problem-solving way. I think I like that. And you know where else you can learn a thing or two? In the Tech Lab. Hi Techno Squad! Today we'll be building and coding our very own Hopper robot. Sounds pretty cool, what do we need? We'll be needing a few bricks, a hub and two small motors as well as software to code with. Great, let's get started! Alright, so first we're going to grab two pieces like those, mm -hmm. alright? And then two cylindrical pieces like those. Wait, 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 it's fine. But... Hopper. Then we're going to need two flesh coloured connectors like these mm -hmm. all right and then you'll place them on the back side of those blocks next we will simply just click the eyes onto the front of our hub onto the front of our hub yes and then we're going to need six black connectors and then place them perfect <laughs> all right then we're going to need one small motor Mm. And we will place it like this. And then the other one facing the opposite direction. So this will be how the hopper actually moves. Ah, like that. 
Great, and let's make sure it's all at the starting positions. Mm -hmm. Right. Always have to be on the starting position. <laughs> yes, always. Next, we're going to need one of these crocodile pieces mm -hmm. and a red connector. Boom. Perfect. All right, next we're going to connect these two. Perfect. Then we're going to make the legs for the hopper. So you can grab a piece that looks like this. Perfect, just like that. Great. All right, next we will attach it onto the robot. Mm -hmm. Like this. Now it's starting to look a little bit like a grasshopper. That is true. Like that. And we are almost finished. Wow. So next we will plug in our motors mm -hmm. into our hubs and we are done. Great, awesome, but obviously we need to code it first. There we right, go. <laughs> so let's write some codes. We'll need our hopper robot to move so we'll need some movement codes mm -hmm. all right and then we can make it a little bit more interesting by making the matrix which is the screen of our hub mm -hmm. light up in a certain way mm -hmm. and next we'll connect to our hub so you can switch it on okay switching it on and it's on and then switch on our bluetooth as well bluetooth okay I see it, I'm connecting to it, and I'm sending the code through, and we are ready. Let's watch it hop. Whoa, watch it go. <laughs> Before it goes off the table, stop there, little guy. There you have it, Techno Squad. We've just built our very own hopper. And let us know on our socials at Techno Squad S3 what you thought about today's Tech Lab, and we'll see you again next time. In today's brain teaser, we asked you to solve the mathematical code. Let's see if you got it right. In the mathematical code given, we told you that if 7 equals 70 and 6 equals 54, if 5 equals 40 and 4 equals 28, could you figure out the pattern to work out what the number 2 equals? If you answered 10, then you would be right. You see, 70 divided by 10 is 7, 54 divided by 9 is 6, 40 divided by 8 is 5, 28 divided by 7 is 4, 18 divided by 6 would be 3, and 10 divided by 5 would be 2. I hope you managed to get it right and you got your answer on our socials. Wow squad, it's been an epic show. Not only did Amir and the squad show you that you can get started with coding, but Tibello is proof that you're never too young and it's really not that hard. Janice, and don't forget we had not one, but two insane competitions. Heck, you're right. There's still an awesome drone up for grabs, so please be sure to head on over to our socials and get to entering. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you here, same time, same place, next week. Bye!